Hello and welcome. You are here once again on your favorite learning channel. Today we are going to see some case studies on SUPAC immediate release guidelines. So today we are going to cover the changes in the component and composition just to summarize as per SUPAC level 1 change the pillar concentration is allowed to be changed up to 5% disintegrant for starch it is 3% and other disintegrants 1% for binder it's 0.5% or lubricant which is the calcium or magnesium stearate 0.25 percent and other lubricants it's one percent in case of glidant if it is talc uh, the allowed changes are up to one percent and for other glidants it's 0.1 percent in case of film coating component, the allowed changes as per SUPAC level 1 is 1% and the cumulative changes should be not more than 5%. So this was all about level 1 change. Coming to level 2 change, the pillar concentration can be changed up to 10%. This in this integrand, the starch, if it is starch, it can be changed up to 6%, whereas the other disintegrants, which we call super disintegrant, the allowed change is up to 2%. For binder, it's 1%. For lubricant, which is calcium and magnesium stearate, the allowed change is plus minus 0.5%. And for other lubricants, it's up to 2%. For glidants, if it is talc, you may change up to 2%. And for others, it's 0.2%. Film coating agent, change up to 2% falls under level 2. And the cumulative change, uh, which is total of all the changes made, shouldn't be more than 10%. This is all about level 2 changes. So anything which is beyond level 2 will be will be a level 3 change as per SUPAC guideline. So now we'll come to the case studies. This is case study 1. In this, if you can see the percent change for microcrystalline cellulose is 2% and for lactodes again 2% and for magnesium stearate the change is uh, minus 0.5% so can you predict the uh, level of change in this example just pause the video think about it and share your, your views in the comment box then coming to the second case study here you can see The microcrystalline cellulose has been changed up to 6%. Lactose, which is also a pillar, is changed by 2%. And the magnesium state concentration is changed by 0.25%. So now it's your turn to predict the change and share your views in the comment box. You can also find the clue in the case study itself. You can pause the video and 
write the comment in your comment box now I'm going to explain or going to tell you the reason uh, the level of changes in case study 1 and 2 so in case in case of case study 1 you can see the uh, percent change for pillar is is uh, uh, 2 and to 4 percent 2 percent for lactose 2 percent for microaggression cellulose so for uh, for a pillar total change is 4 percent which falls under level 1 change but wait magnesium steroid concentration allowed as per level 1 change is only 0.25 percent however in this case magnesium steroid quantity has been uh, reduced by 0.5 percent which means although the pillar is within level 1 change total change is also within level 1 change however due to due to magnesium steroid concentration which is beyond level 1 change this case study is for level 2 change in, in, so now in case of case study 2 you can see you know, the magnesium steroid concentration is within level 1 change total change 6 plus 2 plus 0 0.25 is 8.25 also within I'm sorry it is uh, more than uh, level 1 change correct at the same time the total pillar uh, no, pillar quantity change is also 6 and to 8 percent which means this case study also belong to level 2 change so that's all for today Thank you for watching, hope you like this video, for more case studies, keep watching, thank you.